One of the interesting things about trigonometry is that there's actually not that many books on trigonometry. And the reason is, in modern times, most colleges use books that cover both trig and pre-calc. So they use the same book and people buy one book and they use it for both courses. But in this video, I want to show you a book that is called, the, the title is Trigonometry. So it is in essence a book on trigonometry, an entire book. And I have found that typically when you get a book on trigonometry, you're going to get a more thorough treatment because the whole book is on trig. This one is by Charles P. McKeague and Mark Turner. It's the sixth edition. Um, I don't know when this was published. We're going to take a look at the copyright in a minute to see what date it was published. There's probably newer ones out. I will look for this book and leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So I, I think it's a solid book and it's a book on trig. So whenever I see a book on trig that I can afford, um, I'll, I'll buy it. Usually these books aren't, aren't that expensive. So trigonometry looks like it's got some formulas and useful things here, some identities here, which most modern books have. This is the sixth edition, uh, means it's been out for a while. Brooks Cole Cengage Learning says. Let's see if we can find the copyright on this one. So 2008, uh, 2004. Okay, so not, not super old. So let's see here. It starts with the six trigonometric functions. That's how it starts. So right away, the six trig functions. That's the approach they take. Chapter two is on right triangle trigonometry. Three is on radian measure. Four is graphing and inverse functions. Five is identities and formulas. Equations, triangles, complex numbers and polar coordinates, and that's it. Then there's a review of functions, some stuff with exponentials and logs, and then answers. Let's start with the answers. So here are the answers in the back of the book, and you can see that in the back of the book we have some answers, right? It looks like we have answers to the odd numbered problems. Now it doesn't say that, it just says answers. It doesn't say answers to the odd numbered problems. That could be because maybe there's some that are missing. I don't know, uh, but that could be the case. Usually people who write books try to be very precise. They'll say like answers to exercises, or they might say answers to selected exercises, or it might say answers to odds. This just says answers to exercises, but it only includes the odds, it seems. So that's really good. That's really good and kind of expected for a modern book on trig. Uh, most modern books on trig should have the answers to the odd numbered problems. So some stuff for the instructor, for the student. All right, and here we have the six trig functions. Okay, so introduction, and here it starts. So angles, degree measure, all things that you would typically see at the beginning of a trig course. So if you went to college and you took a course on trig, this would be the type of stuff that you would see uh, at the beginning of the course. You would see stuff like this. It's got some examples here, the Pythagorean theorem, some applications some facts about triangles, and you have some exercises. Let's just jump ahead, because that's pretty easy. The rectangular coordinate system, again, pretty easy. Here we go, let's, let's go back here. Here we got some, some trig functions. So, definition one, trigonometric functions, here we go. And here is how they define them. Let's take a look at the definition of those trig functions. It says here, if theta is an angle in standard position, and the point x, y is any point on the terminal side of theta other than the origin, then the six trig functions of the angle theta are defined as follows. So I like how they do this. The sine of theta, which is written sine theta, it's y over r. The cosine of theta is x over r. The tangent of theta is y over x, provided that x is not zero. The cotangent is gonna be the reciprocal of that, so x over y, provided that y is not zero. The secant of theta, it's the reciprocal of cosine, so it's r over x. Again, assuming x is not zero, otherwise it's not defined. And then the cosecant of theta, that's the reciprocal of uh, the sine, is gonna be r over y, and then uh, that's only valid when y is not zero. So if sine is zero, like if the sine of theta is zero, you can't compute the cosecant. Likewise, if the cosine of theta is equal to zero, you, you can't compute the secant, right, because it's the reciprocal. 
and then here it tells you where x squared plus y squared equals r squared. This comes from the Pythagorean theorem, and then taking the square root of both sides, you get r equals plus or minus the square root of x squared plus y squared, but r is the distance, so you throw away the minus, and that's why the minus is missing here in the book. So just random stuff that, you know, is not always mentioned in books, but that's the reason. And then here's a classic example. This is something that you would see like on a test. Like if you took trig in college, this might be on your first test. So this is a very, very standard book in that sense that you can buy this book and you can use it and it will help you in your college level courses. It's, it's gonna help you. Uh, common problem, I have a bunch of videos on, on stuff like this on my channel. I actually have a trig course, by the way, too. Before I forget, check it out, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. It's actually on Udemy, but I have a trig course. It's a two-part course, and it covers all of trigonometry, um, so check it out, yeah. So it's got examples like this, and really good stuff. Here's another one. Find the sine and cosine of 45. My, my phone battery is dying, so I might have to cut this video short, or maybe I'll just record uh, until it dies. So if the video ends unexpectedly, that means my phone battery has died. I need to get a better phone. Find the six trig functions of 270. A little bit harder maybe because it's in degrees. Sometimes people have a hard time with that. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Now there's different ways to define the trig functions, right? So here it talks about identities. So it moves pretty quickly. It moves pretty quickly. It's got a lot of content, this book. Some identities here. Those are really, really basic. I mean, I guess I always think these are identity. I guess they are identities, but like it's just like it's they're so basic. Uh, when I think of identities, I think of like harder ones. But I like how it says memorize, memorize. Yeah, you definitely want to have those memorized. I agree. Let's see if we can find some more identities in this book. So right triangle trigonometry, other trig functions. Let's, let's find the other identities. I'm curious about something. Because, here we go, uh, 265. So these identities are a little bit harder. So the author is saying you should memorize the easy ones. So let's look at some of the harder ones. Usually, usually um, teachers provide formula sheets for some of these. Well, here it's saying... Both formulas should be memorized. I mean, okay, sure. The problem is when you leave trig, you might forget them, right? So you either want to know how to derive them in a quick way or, or memorize them and never forget them. Um, they're pretty easy to memorize when you, look at, you know, when you look at these. You say cosine A plus B. Well, it's always going to be cosine, cosine, sine, sine, and then you just switch the sine, right? A plus B, plus is minus, minus is plus. So for cosine, it's cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Cosine is cosine, cosine, sine, sine. You just switch the sine. So little tricks like that you can create, but my battery is about to die. I got a warning again, so I probably should end this video. Great book for learning trig. I recommend it. It's perfect for beginners, perfect as a supplement. I'll definitely leave a link in the description, and hopefully um, you can get it, right? It's awesome. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing math.